my money stretches so far out here. It's like two dollars. <laughs> this is our last breakfast because of the price, the decor, the location. In Pattaya, Thailand, there are so many hotels where you can stay. Since this is my first time in Pattaya, Thailand, my friend recommended this great hotel for us to stay called the Koopa Boutique. So let me show you guys around the Koopa Boutique. So maybe this will be a hotel where you will want to stay when you come to Pattaya, Thailand. So Zach and I are actually about to check out of the hotel and head to another hotel. Oops. So let me show you, let me show you how our room looks while we're still here. So there are two twin beds. Sorry for it not being made up. And you have like all of this space here on the side. And the decor of the room is based on Cuba or Cuba. So you can see on the walls, there are a lot of pictures of Cuba. And then you have this big television that we did not use at all. <laughs> you got a mirror and there's a nice refrigerator down there where Zach just got some cold, fresh water. And one of the most interesting things about this room that I really, really like, this is one of the most antique telephones I have ever seen. Like I remember using a telephone like this at my great grandmother's house, but since then I haven't seen one. And then here you have a really nice vanity area where you can put your toiletries and stuff. And just look at the, like look at the aesthetics of the sink area. And then of course you have another mirror and the lighting in the room so that's the really big getter about this hotel is that the aesthetics are really really nice then you have this bathroom shower area and the shower area is so big like you can fit five people in here just uh, <laughs> and then you have the overhead shower and then you have the shower head that you can use to get all of the hard to get places <laughs> and it comes with soap and shampoo of course and another good thing about this hotel is that whenever your coffee and your tea runs out they always bring you new ones like i mean they bring you new ones anytime you want so that is um another go-getter of this hotel and then you open up and you have a nice balcony area and there are some shorts over there drying but yeah it's a really cool place to be zach how much was this room per night i can't remember man like five five twenty four nights 520 us dollars canadian oh canadian dollars okay so canada, no. well, i forgot like here there's this oh there's no light you can't see can you turn the light on really quickly uh you took the key out yeah. So like in this armoire or closet, you have ample space to hang all of your clothes and there's also a safe just in case you want to keep all of your money. All of my luggage just rolls and rolls and rolls. And remember I was telling you earlier about the aesthetics of the hotel. Just look at this. I mean, look at how it's set up. If I brought my camera, like my real camera, I could get some amazing photos in this hotel so we'll go downstairs later and i'll show you the other aesthetics of the bar area and the main stay oh there's a lady down there chilling out yeah it's just really open air or really open area that has a lot of fresh air coming and also this hotel comes with a or an italian man who's always screaming or talking loud you can't have a great hotel without a screaming Italian. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna check it out. Like, it's so clean. Like, no, no, let me. So, like, are you recording? Yeah. So, like, in this hotel, the elevator has like these different numbers. So, like, if you want to go to a certain floor, you just press that number. So if you want to go to the first floor, you just press one, man, and it takes you right there, bro. Yeah, thanks a lot. But one thing that I'm really <laughs> impressed about is the handicap accessory or the uh, disabled accessibility of the place. So there are ramps around uh, the hotel. So if you have difficulties walking or if there are other, I guess, issues that you have, like here, here's a ramp, then this place is accessible for you. And you can see downstairs the decor. It's also really cool, like 
the way these chairs are set up. And you also have, again, Cuba paraphernalia on the wall. And from here, it's the best area to get photos. Here is the bar. But I wouldn't suggest ordering food or drinks from the bar because this hotel's food is actually quite expensive. You can get much cheaper food just outside of the hotel in the like mom and pop shops. I mean, the food here is so cheap, so expensive, so you don't really need to buy anything in the hotel. Which brings me to another area of the hotel. This is the dining room, and this is where you can get your breakfast buffet, and you can get your, I guess, lunches and dinners if you're ordering from the hotel. And as you can see, there's che, and just a lot of Cuba-themed paraphernalia here. And there is like all you can drink tea, all you can drink coffee, there's a water machine, there's fresh water there as well, all the cups are here. And here is an area for you to park your cars if you want to rent a car. And I really love this area a lot because it's very open and spacious and you can take good photos here as well. And this is the tuk-tuk that you use to travel around the city, but the hotel only operates it like three or four times a day so you gotta be Johnny on the spot with your timing. And also, there is a cafe. There is a cafe right over here. So outside, you push, and inside, hello, here's a cafe. And they have a lot of nice baked goods. There is some cake, there is coffee, and they've got Christmas decorations still. You can even buy some beer and coke and sprite okay so inside of this building this is the main the main building so if you come in here you have to you know bring your passport and stuff to check in you also have to bring your passport and things to check out uh let's go in and take a look and see how it is So you can see, they still got Christmas trees. Huh? Are you leaving your bag here? No. So, I'm just showing them stuff. But this is the main, the main building. It's got more Cuba paraphernalia. So yeah, pretty cool. So another thing that I really love about the Cuba is right across the street, there's a self-service laundry. And you're gonna need this because clothes get very dirty here. It's so hot, a little humid. So yeah, you can go over here and make sure you're bringing your coins with you. <laughs> this is the front of the hotel. This is the Cuba. I highly recommend staying at the Cuba because it's in a really central location, close to Pattaya Beach, and it's very safe. But of course, there are other hotels around the area where you can, you know, feel safe and have comfort and luxury but I think the Cuba is a really nice place because of the aesthetics and yeah you can just come here and be in a central location close to everything this is our last breakfast or my last breakfast in Thailand this trip this is lunch bro oh well, I mean it's breakfast for me because I haven't eaten yet but yeah I'm definitely coming back to Thailand anyway Zach like can you give some what is one pro about the Cuba hotel where we stayed. The shower was real big. And that's about it. Okay, and then? Well, actually, the, the decor is nice. Uh, decor the decor is nice. The concept is dope. The theme. Okay. The Cuba theme is, is pretty good. And what about like one con? Oh, another another pro was that the pool was, was reasonable for me. The pool was nice. Oh, I forgot to, yeah, to tell them about the uh, the weight room. There's a exercise the room. There's a gym. And it's 24 hours. And the con is... It is pretty noisy, I'm not gonna lie. We're right by the street. Oh, that's a bit noisy. Yeah, you can hear shit all the time. Well, yeah, that's it for the Cuba Boutique. It was an awesome hotel. If I had to rate it out of five stars, I would give it a four and a half because of the price, the decor, the location, even though it's on the side of the street, but also because of the weight room and all of the amenities that comes with it. Today is my last day in Thailand, more specifically in Pattaya, and let me tell you, I really don't want to leave. Or the reason why I don't want to leave Thailand is because, yo, this place is just so like relaxing. I mean, 
Like since I've been here, since I've gotten over my sickness, I haven't been as stressed as I usually am. And like even when I travel in Korea and I'm on vacation, I'm still feeling like a little stressed. But here it's like all of the stress just melts away. I think it's because everyone just makes it their business to ensure that you're having a good time and that you're being relaxed. And not only just the relaxing atmosphere, but you can get your money's worth for products here. If you're bringing US dollars, I mean, you're getting the best thing for your buck out of any country that I've traveled to besides Mongolia. So this is another reason why I don't want to leave. My money stretches so far out here. Like this is another reason why I don't want to leave Thailand. It's the mango sticky rice. The mango sticky rice is absolutely one of the top three most delicious foods I have ever eaten in my life. And it's very common here, but I mean, it's so delicious. There's mango, there's ice cream, there's sticky rice, and there's condensed coconut milk. Man, so delicious. <laughs> Yo, another reason why I don't want to leave Pattaya, Thailand, is because life here is just so slow. People are just sitting in cafes or in bars and just like having a drink, minding their own business and just watching people walk by. Like everyone here is really simple and like sweet and stuff. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. So yeah, it's just, you know, you can't really get this in so many places, a very slow life and people just minding their own business. Of course, you're gonna see in a lot of my videos, night markets or food markets. This is another reason why I love Thailand and why this country is absolutely on steroids. Like the food here is amazing. It's so diverse. Yo, these tut tuts these mobile stores are another reason why I love Thailand. Like you can see a lot of these stores, these mobile stores like with pants or with like hats or socks or a multiplicity of things. And they're just like roaming around the streets. It's so cool. Like, I mean, you can't see this or at least I haven't seen this in any other country that I visited. This simple meal of a Fanta orange drink and rice and chicken with mixed vegetables is only 70 baht which is, what is 70 baht? Like, yeah, it's like two dollars. Yeah, it's like two dollars. <laughs> All right, Zach, this is the end of our trip. All right, bro. It was good, man. Take care of yourself. Be good here in Thailand. I'll, I'll be back to see you. Yeah, man. <laughs>